What's going on photographers? Today we're talking about how to tell a story at a wedding. Let's go. When it comes to telling a story, you want to look at all of the dynamics of what's happening on a wedding day. You want to tell the setting, who, what, where, and why. Where is it taking place? Today's wedding is taking place in Paris, Ontario, and there's a lot of unique architecture in this, in this cute little town, so you want to tell the story of that. Next is the people involved with the wedding day. You know, the groomsmen's relationship with the groom, the parents, uh, the guests. You want to tell all the connections that are there, and that's a huge part to telling stories on the wedding day. Next is framing. You want to tell unique stories with framing. Shooting wide, shooting close, you want to tell the details that they're wearing, you want to be able to tell the entire story as a whole. So experimenting with your framing is a big part to telling unique stories on a wedding day. So I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes of each part of the wedding day and how I tell unique stories throughout. And we're going to get this started. We're going to go hang out with, with Derek right now, the groom of this beautiful day in Paris. Let's get this started. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you guys doing? Yeah, pretty good. See you guys. Good to see you. We're having a rough time. Hello, right Derek. Right. Nice to meet you. Hi, Derek. Nice to meet you. For this shot, we're going to be hanging it on here to get a nice natural light falling onto the suit jacket. Always look for great light. We're going to do that. Now, we could light this twice. We could have it just right here. Or if you bring this little swivel here, as you see it comes closer to the window, it's going to be better light. So really, if I pull it like this, now it's going to be the best light and if I shoot it straight on. But if I left the window all the way open, then it'd be this weird shadows casting on it. So the farther it is away from the window, the worse lighting. So I'm actually going to get here to hold this window right here. It's going to be a great photo. I'm going to show you two photos, one that's before and after. So a big part of the morning too, the kind of stage photojournalism moments. So I'm putting the jacket here in the light so when our groom Derek comes to get ready, he's gonna do it by good light instead of him letting it do it by the washroom where it's bad light. So you just kinda wanna tell him to do it in great locations and great light. So essentially what I like to do when I first get to the grooms getting ready is get all the things they're gonna be wearing on the day, whether that be their shoes, their belts, the suit jacket, and then I'll put it in a corner and I always put it by a window and I capture that. And then once I've kind of like, you know, talked to everyone, then I'll open up like, hey guys, like now you can all kind of put on your ties, your suits and jackets, and you can help each other. And this is a great way for them to feel like they're doing something without it feeling like a photo shoot. So they're just talking to each other and making laughs. They're excited about the day. So it's a great way to do that. And then I'll shoot a photo of each groomsman and telling the story of each groomsman putting on their bow tie or their tie and putting on their jacket uh, right by the window. So it's more like portrait style. And I'll do like literally one photo vertical, one photo horizontal just in case there's an album involved and then I will save more time and usually do the groom last and then I'll get him by the same window but then I'll do more photo and video of the groom putting on his jacket multiple times and talk to him getting excited for the day and then kind of to wrap it up you remember we have to be telling a story so I'll ask him to you know pretend like he's coming in the room for the first time then leaving the room walking down the hall maybe like to kind of tell the story in the photos and videos that he got ready and now he's leaving uh, the location of where he's getting ready and he's walking out to, this, to the ceremony and he's kind of that. So that's how I kind of end it. And then I'll go say, hey, like I'm gonna go over and shoot photos of the bride now. And it's a nice way to end it. Awesome guys, so a part of storytelling, you want to capture the everything like I was saying before. So we want to start with where, that's the first photo you want to capture in video. So we're cap they're getting ready in a hotel today. So you want to capture the entire hotel, kind of like a landscape photo before you go in. So you can tell that story, where are they getting, where are they getting ready? Where are they getting married? What ceremony are they getting ready? <laughs> Sometimes on a wedding, I think some go plan, but yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're capturing the story of them getting ready at the Arlington Hotel. So we're getting wide shots of the entire place. I like to go center and get leading lines, so we'll show you those photos right now. So when it comes to getting ready photos of the bride, the nice tip is to hang up the dress somewhere with nice light. The goal of every wedding day is just finding night and light. So find a room, turn off all the lights, and put the dress on a hanger in front of a window so you can get a nice silhouette. And then that kind of stages the moment. So when she goes up to the dress, looking at it, feeling it, carrying it down, and then she's going to get into it. You might have to leave the room while she gets into it, but that's okay. And then when she gets into it, um, ask her to let, let you come back in the room right before she starts doing up the ribbon or the zipper. Because then you can have a lot of time to really capture real moments of them excitedly putting on the dress. Sometimes if they do up the dress and then bring you in, then it's like, it's not as real when they pretend to zip up. It's not as real. So that's 
a nice step for you guys. It's getting there when they're actually organically doing it for the first time and the excitement of them putting on the dress. And Just centered the dress, like Gary says, a really great way to do it. Now you can light this two ways. You can expose for the highlights, so everything in the background is kind of lit, and then it's gonna be a lot of shadows on the dress. And that's a really cool contrasty shot and a really good way to. And you should do both. Now the next way is to blow out the highlights and expose for the shadows in the dress, and it's gonna look really like open, airy, and very whimsical. And it's a really great way to do it. I would suggest stopping down to maybe f4 so you can get everything instead of uh, shooting at 1.4 and it's really blurry and only a little bit of the dress in focus. So do both shots and then see which one you like better. So when you shoot dress shots in the future, you're like, all right, I always want to blow it out. I always want to expose to the shadows or the highlights. Awesome. When you're about to do some bridesmaid shots now, so you want to find some great lighting right here, which it is. And you can get them talking to each other and make some little jokes. We'll do that right now. All right, so now it's time to tell the story of her seeing the dress and feeling it. And what I like to do is get the bridesmaid behind me. So then when I'm getting her to kind of stage and go walk towards the window, look at the dress, she has people to talk to. And that's really important because if I do that just by herself in a room, it's very static. Uh, there's no music going on, it's just me and her, and it really feels like a photo shoot. So what I like to do is have all the bridesmaids in there, and then they're all going to compliment her, her dress. And I'll, if nobody's talking, I'll kind of interact a little bit more, but usually the bridesmaids know how to make a bride feel good on her wedding day. So it's a, kind of an easy way to get more natural, candid moments. <laughs> Now right before we left, I wanted to get a photo of her walking down the stairs and having a beautiful moment doing that because it tells the story of her leaving and leaving to the next location. So I asked her just to walk down the stairs nice and slow while I had enough time to do photos and video of her leaving. All right, so now we're going to the ceremony location. And a great tip is to tell the entire story. Start wide with your photos of the ceremony location. You want to find all the little details as well. So get a wide shot, get up close to all the little ribbons or anything on the chairs, anything that they spent money and time on. The next part is when the guests start coming in. You want to get the first couple of guests walking up and sitting down. You want to get interactions with the guests looking at things and talking. Uh, lots of beautiful candid moments. Uh, it's a really fun time to get pictures of that. Now a really great shot to kind of look out for is the shot of her entering the building or coming upstairs or kind of like the pre-ceremony shot of the bride. So we actually have a big staircase um, going up to the ceremony location. So I'm either going to get me or my second shooter to get that shot of her coming up the stairs. Number one is the groomsman reaction. So usually I get my second shooter, which is Kiri today, um, to put on a tight lens and focus just on his facial reactions. And then I'll be up on the aisle, on the left side, getting her coming down the aisle. And then I like to get out of her way after that. So uh, it's a really great way to get both moments. During the ceremony itself, I like to be a fly on the wall, taking photos in, capturing the photos of them walking down the aisle, any candid moments between the uh, Brad and her father and always look out for the guests too because they're gonna be reacting throughout the whole time Don't just focus only on the bride and groom even though that's very important. Usually I like to get my 
main photos of everyone up there first too. So each groomsman, each bridesmaid, and then I'll focus on the family and then I'll move around. So I kind of like to be a fly on the wall, like I said before, by going to each corner of the room, going to the center, um, going to each side. And then also for any other creative elements, like trying to find any mirrors. For example, for this one, I found a mirror and I uh, used my prism to get a pretty cool shot of the entire place and to shoot. Also, every composition as well, like I said before, shoot very wide, get everyone, like the whole scene in one photo, and then put on your 135 prime lens or whatever zoom you have, and then get up close and uh, always have your second shooter doing something slightly different than you or whatever they're comfortable with, so you can have two different styles of stories being told. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. This is part one. I'm gonna have part two following the bridal party photos, photos of just the bride and groom, and then the reception. I have a story, tell a story there. So feel free to check out part two. It'll be in the video right here. And if you guys want any of the presets that were used in this video, I'm gonna have a couple free presets to download in the description. So if you want those, make sure to pick them up. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.